All right, so let's talk about these headphones, the AirPods Max from Apple. I got the white version because that is or was the only version that was left when I ordered mine. But I don't want to talk about the color, I want to talk about the headphones and why I will send them back. So don't get me wrong, those are nice headphones. Build quality wise, they are really nice. Even though at first it seems a bit odd and heavy, but they are quite comfortable. Maybe the most comfortable headphones that I ever used. The headband is really nice. All the details, this is true. This, this is a nice engineering effort from Apple. The ear cups, um, really nice. Um, the controls, really good. Um, switching between all my Mac on, and Apple devices, iPhone, iPad, Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, all good. Noise cancelling, all good. Active noise cancelling is nice. Battery life is good. They are really, from a technology and build quality point, they are really, really nice, comfortable, no question asked. Now there is the matter of the sound. Well, whew, tricky. Well, let me quickly show you my other headphones. So those are the Audio-Technica M50X, the Bluetooth version, so my wireless headphones, but they're basically the same than the wired ones. Um, those are my go-to headphones on the road uh, traveling, um, recording stuff, podcasts on the go, interviews and stuff like that. And they sound really nice, strong, um, have a deep bass, um, get really loud, but sometimes sound a bit muddy maybe compared to the others, uh, but um, really well known for a good sound and lots of professionals actually use them and I really like those but uh, for me maybe the higher end sound is not there but that's all right uh, they are quite analytic anyways um, and really for the deep bass it, it, it's strong and nice but they get a bit uncomfortable after one hour or so especially with classes they are not the most comfortable uh, headphones but they are really solid the price point is good and with the Bluetooth version um, they are quite good and they also fold down and uh, I mean it's nice. And then of course I have the Biodynamic TT77 Pro. I have the 32 ohm version. Those are the newest edition so to speak of this series and I think they are more user friendly um, because of the 32 ohms but those are well studio reference headphones well known well used uh, basically 95 percent of studio professionals use those and they sound amazing nice organic but open natural sounding neutral sounding and but then again also nice sounding it's it's more enjoyable to use those than the Audio Technicas. The only big issue they have is with when you have them a bit too loud or louder, the lower frequencies kind of distort. It's unpleasant, so to speak. The Audio Technicas power through. Those have issues with lower end stuff, even with classical music. If you uh, listen to a Hans Zimmer soundtrack, um, like Batman or whatever, the lower end, when you have them louder, it distorts quite easily. They can't really keep up with the lower end. I think I'm going for the, um, I think it's the 1770 Pros. Um, they might keep up with that, but overall, those are my reference headphones. I really like them. They are comfortable. The only thing also is the padding or the ear cups or whatever. They make a bit of an odd sound on my glasses. But other than that, they are really nice and good. Really nice. So now about the sound of the Apple AirPods Max. They sound nice. 
really nice. Too nice. Uh, the higher frequencies are a bit too much pronounced. Also the higher mids. I'm not quite sure if it's pushed too much or if there is like a hole in there. They sound sometimes a bit odd or too pronounced or different. Um, the lower end is nice and solid as well. Sometimes compared to the Auto Technicas, a bit different. Uh, but overall, they just sound processed in a way. Not quite sure what's going on. Yes, there is. there are sensors and microphones in there that actually listen to what you hear and modify that in a way. And I think I can hear that somehow or not. I'm not quite sure. Mm, also, the lower signals get pushed up a bit, so you can hear um, background stuff that's going on in recordings, for example. Sometimes that is actually nice because you can uh, hear uh, instruments or something that is going on in the background a bit more that can help make the music or whatever you hear uh, sound better, but sometimes it's actually quite distracting or I'm not quite sure. Also, I have the feeling it gets pushed, the dynamic range, the lower signals get pushed up and uh, the higher frequencies or signals get pushed down to prevent distortion. So yeah, um, it, it, it's, it's a bit odd. Um, and especially compared to the biodynamics and for me as someone that works with audio and actually learned how to work with audio and audio engineering and mixing and sound recording is my main job sometimes. Um, yeah, um, I'm not comfortable with that. Also, one thing is um, it depends really on what you listen to. For electronic music, those are awesome actually. Those are better than all the other headphones I have and use. They are solid, they are strong, they are punch. They are really good for electronic music. Hip hop maybe also good. Bass is rich, really nice dynamic <laughs> sounding or even less dynamic. I think there's a little bit more compression going on. There's something with a dynamic EQ maybe even a multi-band compression going on, a uh, compressor in terms of dynamic compression. Um, so for that, it might actually work out, but for soundtracks, um, acoustic music that is um, recorded in a nice studio and stuff like that, they sound a bit odd, I think. Anyways, it's a matter of taste in the end as well, so uh, don't keep my word for it, but yeah, so sometimes I think, does that sound right? It sound, does it sound processed? What's going on? So therefore, it's kind of distracting. Um, and I'm not really trusting those. Now, I know those are not professional headphones. They are not meant to be used in a studio um, for mixing and stuff like that. But then again, I also mm, use my biodynamics to enjoy listening to music even though with that wire. And I'm not quite sure if a wired connection with those headphones um, makes a difference because I think the processing is also going on when you wire them up to your system. And then again, they kind of lose the intention of the wireless uh, side of things. Um, so for now, I think, uh, yeah, it's odd. They sound really nice, but they sound too nice and processed. Some recordings actually sound really different and I'm not quite sure if I like that. And for that, the price point of around 600 euros, and I think they've gone up in price actually, um, I don't think that I can keep them with a good conscience, so to speak. I already have good headphones with the biodynamic. Yeah, so I wanted to have something wireless um, and for that they are really good. But in terms of sound, yeah, I just, I mean, those are 150 bucks euros in Germany. Those are 600. I could get the higher fertility version of those 
of the biodynamics and they are around 400 euros so i might do that and have a um, enjoyable headphone what those keep in mind those headphones listen to the music or the stuff you hear and adjust accordingly yes that means also there's less distortion and uh, peaking and stuff like that maybe but then again yeah i don't know what's going on so i don't trust them that's that in the end it comes down to i don't trust those headphones i'm always not sure i'm always thinking about mm, what's going on yeah so that's why i will send them back also i don't like the white i think they look much nicer in black or dark yeah anyways yeah so yeah, that's it. The battle between Apple AirPods Max and the Biodynamic. For professional work, the Biodynamic, of course, win. And for enjoying music, the Biodynamic wins as well. Yeah. One word about the wired connection with the lightning port here. I tested all or most of the third-party cables and adapters, even the Apple adapter, the lightning to headphone jack adapter i have a video up here hmm. also i noticed when i have them on when i have them on uh, this sounds all right with the active noise cancelling on but sometimes with glasses especially when they don't fit right or when you have your hands somewhere or laying down on the sofa to enjoy music uh, when they are not correctly placed, so to speak, I think they sound a bit off. So it seems like they have to be really well placed um, in order to have the perfect sound. As soon as you have them a bit off, yeah, it's kind of, especially with the active noise cancelling, uh, this sounds really strange. So um there the technology is sometimes not the best way to go i think they are over processing so to speak anyways that's about it let me know in the comments if you have these and what you think or even what headphones you have and use and enjoy maybe some recommendation i know sony has nice wireless noise cancelling headphones not quite sure about those i really want something that is sounding nice clean not too processed enjoyable maybe open back headphones but then again those have issues with bass or lower frequencies hmm anyways that's about it for this video see you in the next one and uh, good night tschüss auf wiedersehen back to work